What's up guys? Welcome back to part two of the wiring for the 240 and going over our panel and all that good stuff. So last video I showed you on the board here and we went over over there how to wire stuff up. Um, I know I showed a couple of my friends and they said a little question on the key. This was representing the um, stock key switch on your column to utilize that. So that would be just your regular key in your column. So today we are going to show you now how it gets implemented into the car. So I have most of it wired up. I basically wired up the side that comes from the battery and the switches, basically everything we saw up there. I didn't wire in out from the other side of the relay board to all the accessories. That super easy. That just depends on what you have. So if you have a fuel pump, you wire out to your fuel pump and then you ground the fuel pump somewhere near it. Same thing for anything else, your fans. You'll wire you know, uh, your, your 12 volt up to your fans and then you can ground somewhere up there. So I'm gonna get Tyler down here, give him the camera and he'll kind of follow me around to the different spots and we'll go over how to wire this up. So I'll show you guys, this is all the old wiring that I kind of pulled out and there's still a ton in there, but for majority, majority of it out. So I'll hand the camera over to Tyler. All right, climb in here. So, oh, let me get it, let me get it settled. Oh God, okay. All right, so like we said yesterday, I uh, drew, up, uh, drew it up on the board and we needed 14 wires to come from back here up to the front. So, you can kind of see here, I built this little harness, basically just got 14 of the wires together, then used some Tessa tape and have it routed down underneath and runs up to the front you see them all come out there we'll go over that in a minute but so we have the panel here we have majority of our switches running into the switch side and then I have two running around the side here and over to this little piece and this is now our relay so let's turn this on let's see up there so this is our, our 200 amp relay here so I have one wire um, let's start with this one. So this one runs around and goes straight to the positive terminal on the battery. It's not hooked up right now, but that's exactly where it's going to go. And that runs up to the ignition switch that's on the current column. So it runs right up to the side here. We'll show you that in a minute. And then from there, the first click runs back and will give 12 volts to this side, which comes here and then powers this relay. So this side is connected to my battery with a, um, I believe it's a three gauge wire, comes through the relay once it's activated from the key and runs to the positive side of the relay board. And that's when it hits the uh, auxiliary power, like the first click on the ignition switch. Right? First click, right. So if I hit the first click, that gives me power to here because it turns on this relay. And that first click also gives power, 12 volt ignition power to all your switches. So we'll show you that up, up once we get up here and done with this. So now that everything's on, uh, let's see. We also need to ground it. So this is just runs around to this side and is grounded to the chassis. And then I also took the battery and grounded to the chassis over there. So we got a good ground to the chassis. Um, like I said before, we wired in all of these. These are these come from our switches in the front. And I believe that's pretty much it for the back. This is the side um, you'll wire out to all your accessories. So like this first one where I have the jumper, this is the fan switch, comes into here, turns on the two relays, and then the two relays that it corresponds with, I'll wire out to the two fans in the front. So let's go up to the front here. All right. So I don't know if you can see, but here's, again, the 14 wires. That's that whole kind of wiring oh, no. harness I made up to come up, ran them all up under here. Majority of the switches are going to go into each side of the switch. So each here, this is a double rocker because this is our turn signals so we'll have a relay for each side so the extra I think it's 12 or, or 9 9 to whatever wires there are back there run to each of these switches and then I guess to explain the rest of this this is um, all our positives all our negatives and I have this running up to these switches which basically is just giving you um, 12 volt ignition when this is turned to the first click so that'll allow us to have 12 volt power that sends to turn on the relay. What else do we got? So up here, I have the three wires that I was talking about back there. This one comes directly from the battery. 
that'll plug in or plug into our key switch. This one will be the first click and that'll turn on everything. And then the white is what I have will be run to the starter. So that's the second position that's a momentary and then turns off will be our starter. I have, let's see, so on the back, I have to take these out real quick. These are our switches. The switches I sell all come pre-wired. Um, basically everything's just jumped from a positive and a negative. This I will ground. And then this is kind of what I was talking about before. I just have it ran daisy chain ground that then jumps in the rest of these switches. So they'll have a ground and also a 12 volt ignition. And then here's our 12 volt ignition to everything, which will then be wired in to the second or the, the first position on our ignition switch. ignition switch so that this also has ignition power. So first ignition switch gives power to the 200 amp relay in the back, power to the panel, and then also gives power uh, 12 volt ignition to all of these switches. So now, these will be able to turn on my holly, fuel pump, fans, lights, and then I think this one and these two are um, extras right now. So basically, it kinda, it's kind of like a normal car where the first the first turn of the key gets you auxiliary power, powers everything up. Correct. The second one's going to start your car, but by the first position, you can cut on and off basically yeah. whatever you want to. Yep, so once you hit the first position, the only thing different about this one, um, you could have the first position turn on your holly, and then you would be able, and your fuel pump if you wanted to, and then it would all start um, just based on the holly. But for my setup, I like it where I can turn on everything um, individually. Yeah. Uh, you notice I have another wire down here. This is just a, another wire that's gonna have 12 volts because I had an extra spot here. And that one I'm gonna wire up to the alternator um, uh, remote wire to tell it to charge, just mm. so I have an extra spot. Um, because this so, is a daily, so you know you can't have it yeah, done. Yeah, really. it's daily. So that's pretty much it for the wiring on the switch side to the panel. Um, from here, I'll have to you know wire in the holly and do all that stuff, which runs directly to the battery. But um, this setup here, you can use in pretty much any vehicle. It doesn't have to be a 240. We did the same thing on the burnout truck. We're going to do the same thing on your truck, um, and we could you know do it on your 67. So it really doesn't matter what you're doing it on. But if you decide to rewire an entire car. This is an easy way to do it using our panels, um, using a 12 way right now, just because we want to have the extra switches. Um, there's a couple extra things later on that I'll probably add, which I guess I can't tell you right now because that would give away what we're doing. But um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, put it down in the comments, um, send me a, a DM on Instagram or whatever, and I can explain the different things to you. But uh, hopefully this helps some of you get over the scariness or the tediousness of wiring and uh, you go ahead and wire up your own cars. So uh, that's it for this one. And uh, we got some, I think the new seats coming in next week and uh, a few other things. So uh, we'll see you in the next one. Tell your friends.